<clears throat> Good morning, Americans. <coughs> Happy Tuesday. Coffee time. I got to roll. But <clears throat> before I do, we're going to get a little truth. A little truth rolling in the atmosphere. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for today. We thank you for that today we are free, Lord. And by knowing your truth and acting upon this truth that we know, we're even more free. We thank you for uh, believers in this nation and on this planet, Lord, that are uh, finally laying aside their own desires and their own uh, agendas, Lord, and they're searching for truth in your word. Father, we thank you that that truth will not return void, and we thank you that we're being changed from a nation inside out in the name of Jesus. Good morning, Brother Jeff. Listen to this. <clears throat> Listen to this, Americans. Romans 2, verse 1. You may be saying, What terrible people you have been talking about. But you're just as bad. And you have no excuse. When you say they are wicked and should be punished, you are condemning yourself. For you do the same, very same things. And we know that God in his justice will punish anyone who does such things. Do you think God will judge and condemn others for doing them and not judge you when you do them too? Don't you realize how kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Or don't you care? Can't you see how kind he has been in giving you time to turn from your sin? Lord, we thank you for your word. Yes, we do. Help us, Father. Help us. Now, listen. Why are you talking about this today, preacher? Because, listen. I can't turn on social media without, yep, 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 this MF or this whatever. Or people, yep, yep, yapping like a little chihuahua at me about dumb stuff dumb stuff stuff that won't even matter in a week or two or even if it matters now it won't matter in a month wake up people the stuff you see wrong and somebody else according to the word is the same thing you're doing well, I don't believe that. Well, then you don't believe the truth. And uh, therein is a lot of your problem. Now, check this out. God is a freaking genius. All right. He is. He knows everything. So that being said. First off, he's good counsel. He's a good one to go to for some uh, good info if you need some. But second of all, he placed in each and every person, each and every human, a self-check system. So you could check up on yourself and see where you need work without needing somebody else to tell you. Oh, what are you talking about, preacher? This ain't, this can't be true. Oh, it's true. It's true. I'll challenge you to read the first few verses of Romans 2 in a few different translations today. I read to you the New Living Translation because that's the one the Lord told me to read to you guys because it's it's in the language of the, the people. And then I'm not trying to weird it up and church it up for all you folks that are church folks. I'm not even churchy. I'm definitely not religious, I'll tell you that much. I 
think uh, it would do good for folks to figure out the difference between church and religion. Some churches are religious. Some are not at all. When Jesus came to town, he uh, came to tear religion down. Now check it. The things you see wrong in others, friend, those are the th struggles that you're dealing with today. If you think I'm an asshole, go look in the mirror. You know, even you didn't even realize when you're pointing at someone else, you got three more pointed right back at you. Right? thought that was just a uh, cliche or some sort of uh, funny joke. It's the truth, friend. Tell you what, I don't tell you none of this stuff to hurt you, to piss you off, to disrupt your life at all, except for the good. And I'll tell you what. Today, I challenge you. Keep your mouth shut. You got twice as many ears as you do mouth anyways. Two ears, one mouth. Maybe you should be listening twice as much as you're talking. For in the multitude of words, the sin is not lacking. better you if you want to be, but you're not going to do it on your own. So look to him, and the king will make you, help you get to where you're going. And what I found out was that if you don't know who you are, you'll be acting like somebody you're not. So... The one that made you will get you where you need to be. You know, at least he'll help you anyway. So, Americans, have a great Tuesday. I gotta go upgrade some security systems because fear is running rampant in this nation. So, uh, love, peace, and chicken grease. I'll see y'all in the next video.